Guys, in this video of LinkedIn marketing course, I'm going to teach you how to run carousel ads. Well, guys, I've already shown you almost all different types of ads like conversion ads, brand awareness ads, lead generation ads, and even job ads as well. But I haven't created any format space uh, specific ad where our aim is to create a campaign specifically for any single type of ad format. And in this video, I'm doing that. I'm using or basically I'm creating carousel ad campaign on LinkedIn. So generally we use single image ad campaign where we are able to use only one image, one single image. And sometimes it is very hard to convey the message like we want to express in our ad, right? So in those cases, you can use carousel ads where you can add multiple images in a same ad, same advertisement, and you can convey the message. You can convey the story, what you want to convey to your audience, right? Now, this was just theory part. Now let's directly jump into my LinkedIn account, ad account, and I'll show you the practical on how to run carousel ads. So guys, as you can see, I have logged in into my LinkedIn account. Now I'll click here for business icon so that I can log in into my campaign manager, which is basically the backend or the ad creation platform for LinkedIn. So after clicking on for business button, I need to click on this advertise option and you'll be redirect into the campaign manager of your LinkedIn account, right? So let it load properly. After this, you'll be able to see multiple campaign manager accounts. So whatever, select whatever you want to go with. Let's say I've selected this one. Now after this, after uh, login into the account, here you'll be able to see campaign group, campaigns and ads. So first you can create a new campaign group if you want to segregate your multiple campaigns in different groups, so you can create multiple campaign groups here. Here you can see I have created tons of different, different campaign groups. Like for uh, website traffic ad campaigns, I have created one specific campaign group. Then con for conversion ads, I have created one more specific campaign group. Then for job ads, I have created again one more specific campaign group. So in the same way, I can create few more, but I don't want to go this time. I'll choose an existing campaign group. Let's say I'll go with this one, this the by default one, we get new campaign group name, right? So you can uh, directly click here. Otherwise you can click here in order to create a campaign under this campaign group, right? So I've click clicked on the plus campaign button and here you'll be able to see the campaign group name. If you want to change, you can change it here. Now hit the next button and here you need to name your campaign. So whatever the name you want to give to this campaign, let's say I'm adding carousel ads campaign demo. This is the name I have given carousel ads campaign demo to this campaign, right? Now after this, you need to select the objective for this campaign. So whatever the objective you have, you can go with brand awareness, then in consideration part, you have four options and in conversion part, you have four options. So let's go with brand awareness this time, this time because uh, our objective is not our goal in this campaign. Our goal is to specifically select the ad format, right? Which is carousel right now. So after selecting the objective, scroll a little bit down and here you can do your uh, targeting. Basically, you can select your audience whom you want to show your ads. So here are two, three options. Like the first one is saved audience. And this is the list of saved audience and saved audience is like if you have created your audience previously and you have saved those audience. So that list appears here under the saved audience option, right? Let's say you don't want to go with the saved audiences because this is totally a new campaign and you want to do the targeting totally differently. So you don't need to select the saved audience option. Then we do have this audiences option, which is basically templates directly from LinkedIn itself, right? So here you can see, let's say you want to target members who have bachelor degree, right? So you can select this option and all the members, all the users on LinkedIn platform who have bachelor's degree will be targeted. Same goes with expertise in biotechnology, expertise in uh, Bitcoin and blockchain, expertise in computer science, HR professional, experienced professionals, then development operations. So, so tons of options are there. But if you think that these are not for my targeting, then you can leave this option as it is and we can go with the create new audience. So this is the manual option where you need to select the audience. I mean the location of your audience, then the attributes for your audience. So let's select the location first. Let's say you want to target whole 
country or maybe you don't want to target whole country you want to target multiple cities let's say i have selected delhi which is the capital in, of india then new york which is city in united states so you you can do what basically you can target uh, whatever the location you want you can target cities areas countries like anything is possible here right now let's say i'm selecting Ber let's select berlin right berlin from germany so i've selected three cities and then one whole country canada right so this is how you can do it now for example uh this is the locations you have selected where your ads will be shown now here in the location option you get two options so if you go with the first option then linkedin will show your ads to the permanent residents of that location and people who are recently in those locations which you have targeted but let's say you just want to target uh, people who are permanently living in that location then you can go with this option permanent location only you don't have to select the recent and permanent location right after this you can exclude some uh, location some areas from your targeting as well for that you need to click on this exclude option when you click here uh, as you can see the targeting locations has been saved four cities and one three cities and one country and here you can select the locations areas or cities which you want to exclude let's say i have selected whole canada but i don't want to uh, target montreal right which is a city in canada so i have excluded montreal city from canada and same let's say i have sit, uh, selected whole delhi city which is in india right right now i don't want to target the south delhi part of delhi so what i can do is i'll select the south delhi area here and here it is showing south delhi delhi india so i'll select this one and this will be added into my exclusion list right so i have added two exclusions and after this after selecting basically after uh, you are done with the exclusion you can go with the language so here you need to select your audience's language whatever they the language they speak you need to select here right so by default it is english and i want to target the english language only now after this who is your target audience so here you need to select the attributes for your target audience so by default here it is selected arts and design engineering and marketing so people who are interested in arts and design engineering and marketing will be targeted if you don't change it so obviously we want to change it so for that you need to click here and you need to click on remove all attributes and in one go you can remove all the attributes now you need to click on audience attributes and here you can see five options company demographics education job experience and interest and traits so basically you can do target on the basis of company demographics education and then so on and so forth right so if you select company over here again you see some sub categories like you can do targeting on the basis of company category connections followers of growth and so on and so forth right for example i want to target on the basis of company names i want to target microsoft basically people who are working in microsoft will be automatically targeted because i have selected into my targeting after this i want to target google then tcs then i'll target let's select wipro and then meta right so i have selected some companies and people who are working in these companies will be targeted and here you can see uh, target audience size which is around more than 93000 so i've done with this targeting now i'll go with different type of targeting like uh, i want to target on the basis of company size so here i'll select a uh, company who have employees more than 5 to 10000 and more than 10000 now you can see my audience size right and in the same way you can do targeting on the basis of demographics in demographics you see uh, get option of age and gender then education you see uh, get option of degree then study field and then member schools and then in job experience you get some other options right like i want to do the third targeting on the basis of their uh, job titles and i'll target 
people who are into marketing so i'll select marketing specialist marketing manager then marketing assistant marketing intern marketing executive sales marketing manager right so i've done six more targeting here so i've added different types of attributes here and on the basis of these attributes my audience will be targeted and they'll be able to see my ad and here you can see uh, the target audience size which is roughly around 8.3 million so it is a good number of audience now if you want to narrow it down you can click here if you want to exclude some uh, some of your audience in the same way which i have done with the location type uh, location targeting you can click here and you can do the exclusion now if you want to reset let's say you messed up with your audience targeting you can click on the reset button and everything will be reset right here you can see your audience summary and here by clicking on this save audience button you'll be able to save this audience for later use and this list will appear in that saved audience list right so here i'm writing caro sell ads audience right here you want to add some description you can add it but this is totally optional right so just hit the save button and your audience is saved you can see the audience here carousel ads audience right so you can use it uh, in your future campaigns as well after the audience option we do have this ad format so by default it is on single image but right now our aim is to go with carousel image so that we can add multiple images and we can convey our message we can convey our uh, story through the multiple images right so after selecting this we are into the placement option where linkedin platform will uh, select it by default so you can't change it you can uncheck you can't uncheck this box because obviously we are creating a campaign on the linkedin platform so definitely uh, our ads are going to show on linkedin but if you want to toggle this basically if you don't want to show your ads on linkedin audience network then you can uncheck this box so audience network is basically the third party websites and applications who have partnership with linkedin and if you check this box your ads will appear on those third party websites and applications as well right now after this once you are done with your ad format we are into the budget and schedule option so here we get three options the first one is set both daily and lifetime budget so here you can set your daily budget and the lifetime budget as well let's say you want to spend only 150 dollars a day but your lifetime budget is five thousand dollars so once the five thousand uh, dollar lifetime budget reaches the campaign will automatically get stopped right so this is what the use of lifetime budget and you don't want to spend more than 150 dollars a day and then we do have daily budget where we simply get uh, the daily budget option where you can run your ads continuously until you fill in your account with a good amount of money right and then we do have this lifetime budget so here you can again set the lifetime budget and you can set the campaign start and end date and linkedin will automatically uh, equally distribute the amount into those 10 15 or 20 days or whatever the days you select here right so i'll go with the daily budget option right now which is the very basic one kind of thing and here i'll go with 200 dollars and according to my amount and my targeting the expected results gets changed right here you can see 30 days spent will be this 30 days reach will be this and ex some extra data over here now here it is asking to set me the campaign start and end it but i want to go with the ca run campaign continue continuously and i'll uh, fill up the account on a daily basis right or i have already added my card here so linkedin can automatically charge my account so this is what it is now after this uh, we do have this bidding option where optimization goal is the first op first option and obviously we have selected our campaign objective or you can say the group object and uh, not group objective campaign objective was brand awareness right so in brand awareness obviously we want reach but if you want impressions you can go with impressions as well but this is the recommended one and it is totally up to you like what is your exact goal end goal right and in reach we do have only one bidding strategy that is maximum delivery so basically what linkedin will do it will try to bring the best result or maximum result in the given budget so this is the only bidding strategy available here 
Now after this, we do have conversion tracking. So in brand awareness, we don't need any kind of conversion tracking and all. But still, if you want to learn about conversion tracking, you can watch our previous videos in the in this LinkedIn marketing playlist itself. So you'll be able to learn about conversion. And this is basically for the conversion ads like sales ad or lead generation ads. Right. And here it is totally optional. So I don't want to go with this one. Now hit the next button. Our campaign settings is done. Now it's time to create our carousel ad. So we are into the ad creation process. Now, if you have already created any carousel ad, what you can do is you can click on browse existing content and you can use those existing content from here. Right. But if you haven't uh, created any campaign, oops, I've clicked twice. So I was telling that if you have, haven't created any let me go to the campaign which I have created. This was, yeah, carousel ads demo one. So I've clicked on edit and launch so that I can go back to the same position where I was. Yeah, I was here. So I was telling that if you haven't created any uh, ad previously, carousel ad previously. So what you can do is you can click on create new ad and you'll be able to create a new ad properly from the scratch. So here you can see some guidelines and specs over here, like uh, what type of image you need to add, what should be the uh, aspect ratio and the size, pixel size of the image and what should be the format of those images. It can be in JPG, PNG and GIF, which is non-animated only, right? So these are the things you need to go through the guidelines. You can take a screenshot and according to the specs and guidelines, you can create some uh, images for your carousel ad. Now here you need to name this ad first. So let's name this ad here. Carousel ad one, right? And here you need to add the introductory text. So I'm just adding demo, demo and demo. And here you need to add the destination URL where you want to land your audience. So in my case, it will be marketingpandas.com, which is our website. So I want my audience to land on my website if they click on the ad, right? Now here you can add the images. So here by default, it is showing two. Obviously, if you want to go with only one event, then you need to select the single ad image. And if you want to go with two or more than two images, then you can select the carousel ad type, right? So here by default it is showing two, but you can go up to 10 images. So in one ad, one single ad, you can add 10 images using carousel format, right? So what you have to do is you just need to click on this upload icon and your mobile phone scam, I mean gallery file manager will open. And from here you can select any image, whatever you want to select, right? For example, I'll go with this one and here I'll select one more uh, and this time I'll go with this one and let's say I want to add one more so I'll click on add another and in the same way I can add one more image this one Right, so I've selected three. Now, if you want to crop these images a little bit, you can click on this crop button. Otherwise you can leave it as it is. And I've uh, selected three. If you want to go more, you just need to follow the same process. So for every card, you need to select the, basically you need to write the headline. And for every card, you can add different URL as well. Let's say you have added three different products or maybe three different services. So you can, uh, uh, land or redirect your user to those different URLs, URLs of those respective services or products, right? So let's say this is for social media, right? So here I have written social media ad and here I'll add the destination. So I don't want to uh, land my user on the same URL. So I'll go in marketingfunders.com and here I'll select social media marketing and I'll copy this link and paste it here. Right now let's say this is paid ads. Now again I'll go to my website and here it is paid ads. I'll click here PPC ads. Okay. I'll copy this link and I'll paste it 
in the paid search section and lastly it is SEO service right and here I'll go with SEO service landing page I'll copy this link and paste it here so this is how I have created and done all the three cards with different headline and different URLs so let's say if my user is clicking on this URL I mean this card then uh, the user will land on this URL if they click on this card they will land on this URL right so this is you can do with carousel ad now after done after doing all these things you just need to click on save ad button and your carousel ad will be saved so here you can see that what is the carousel ad and then all basically you can see some information about that and then just need hit hit the next button and this is the last step where you can review and launch your campaign so all the settings all the customizations all the targetings you have done over here you can see and you can see the billing method as well and once you are confirmed with your customizations you can hit the launch campaign button and after reviewing your campaign will be launched automatically right or let's say you just uh you don't want to run the campaign right now you just want to save it so click here save and exit and in future whenever you want to run your campaign you can go back to same page by clicking let me find the campaign here it is right so you need to click on edit and launch again and you can click on the launch campaign button and your campaign will be launched so this is how we create carousel ad campaign i hope you understood the process and if you still have any question query or any kind of confusion you can please uh, comment down below i'll answer those questions in the comment section itself now i want to take your leave i'll be meeting you in the next video till then bye bye